And whiles beyond they speak your name with reverence and regret, for none could tame our savage souls, yet you challenge met. Under palest watch you taught we changed, based instincts were redeemed, a world you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed. From Elegy for Hollow Nest by Monomon the Teacher. I've butchered all of that. Well, this isn't ominous at all. I feel like this is a visual interpretation of trying to hold back a fart. Ladies and gentlemen, Brexit! Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks you amongst us. Focus your soul and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream. Protect souls by striking enemies and once enough soul is collected, whole be to focus soul and heal. Ah, um, are you telling me to drain my soul so I can heal my wounds? I'm a pro at this. This is how I get out of bed in the morning. Ooh. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Beyond this point, you enter the land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the Eternal Kingdom. Hollow Nest. The last and only kingdom. Well, no wonder it's the last and only. You decide to make a fucking door. And locked us. I don't want to burst your bubble, but if you have a... The only kingdom. Um, it would be a good thing to have a bridge to it. Um, I'm assuming tourism levels aren't very high. Speaking of high, I'm assuming I have to fall down. Well, fuck you, I'm not falling. I shall jump! My cankles. Yeah. Dirt mouth, the fading town. Oh there, Traveller. I'm afraid there's only me left to offer welcome. Our town's fallen quite, you see. The other residents, they've all disappeared. Headed down that well, one by one, into the caverns below. It used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long fell to ruin, yet it still draws folks into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment, that darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you too seek your dreams down here. Well, watch out. It's a stickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad and... Travellers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. Well, that was fucking solemn, wasn't it? What about if I dream of a cup of coffee? Is that a bad thing? No. No, it's not. I want coffee. It's not going to end my life. This isn't the Cheech and Chong story. It's not going to be a big adventure for coffee beans. Actually, you, you know, screw I'm sitting down. Fuck you. This old man has taken it out of me. For all your mapping supplies, we will be opening soon. Iselda, in Corner Fair. Oh, I'm guessing this is a shop. Fantastic, I'll need it. Please tell me you sell coffee. Ah, this is the graveyard where that old man buried all of his hopes and dreams. Ah, down the strange well. I might find Lassie's fucking dreams and extended movie collection. Why do all of these enemies bleed Lucasade? Jesus, they hit as hard as Lucasade does too. How dare you? Give me all your Lucasaid. Oh, hello! Ah! Oh, shit. Alright, well, you know what? I'll come back later. Oh, hello. Okay, I guess you're too busy writing to notice I'm here. Really bad manners. Mm. Ah, hello there. Come down to explore these beautiful old ruins. Don't mind me. I have a fondness for exploring myself, getting lost, and finding your way again is a pleasure like no other. We're exquisitely lucky, you and I. Are we? 
I'm a cartographer by trade, and I'm working on mapping this area right now. Would you like to buy a copy of my work so far? I'm sorry, do you sell maps and this is where you came to sell them? You clearly never heard of the phrase prime real estate, because this is the corner of a dank cavern beneath a town. You could go buy a shop up there. Your business is not going to take off. At fucking all. What are we Chocolate. looking at? A map can be a useful thing, but it alone won't show you where you are. If you're not the head of for directions, I suggest purchasing a compass from my wife, Iselda. She's just now opening our new map shop in Dirtmouth, selling all sorts of useful things to wanderers like yourself. She'll even sell some of my old maps from time to time. I pop back to see her whenever I finish mapping an area. She's always so excited to see me. You only visit your wife to pop in and say hello every once in a while. Wow, you're a bad husband and you're a shit map vendor. Oh, that's not terrifying at all. I keep falling. Like, is there something wrong with me mentally that I keep falling onto spikes? Am I just drawn to really long, sharp items? How do I get up in the morning without accidentally falling on my bread knife? Hello! Goodbye! Or do I get the feeling I'm after releasing some kind of weapon of mass destruction upon this world? Now, let's see what's here for me to sell. You don't even know your stock. I can relate. As a retail man myself, I can relate. Uh, a wayward compass. It's highly recommended. If you're having trouble finding your way in the maze of runes below us, try this charm. It will pinpoint your location on your map. Incredibly helpful for finding your bearings in unfamiliar locations. Okay, so goal number one, get myself a compass. Can I approach you from the front just to see what you do? Are you an enemy or are you... Well, that's a fucking yes. Just, just... Kite, kite and pedal! Kite and pedal! Ow! And get me up here, I think. Okay, okay, we have a game plan. Game plan. Up and over. Yeah. Shite. Oh, shite, I missed. Aha! Suck it. You bleed your Lucasade. Thank Christ for the healing system, because apparently I'm not good at games. Oh! Um, I appear to be trapped. No! Well, that was very unexpected. Okay. I just wanted to come back and get my revenge, and here I am, staring my dark, shadowy self in the face. How very inviting. Okay, Mr. False Knight, let's get it on! Or not. Oh yeah, there we are! You're already in a Dark Souls run back mentality? <laughs> of course I'm in a run back mentality. The size of this thing! But you weren't ready for that. No, none of that. I, yeah, no, I'm not even. No, 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 no. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. That was not anything near what I thought was going to happen. Fucking stop, you giant dick bag. No, 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 no. Don't make me say no again. Ow, don't hurt me again. God. This is hell! No, sir! Aha! I have the upper hand! Yeah! I'm gonna punch you in the face repeatedly. Nope, that was oddly lucky. Down you go. 
I will master this. Oh god. Oh shit. That was an idiot of a thing to do. Let me stand close as you try to pobble my face. Um. Goodbye? Um. I don't mean to capitalize, but... Yeah. Um. Oh, well, that's all for Hollow Knight. That was an amazing game. Fantastic last boss. Ah. I feel like I've done well. Aha. Dark Souls maneuvers. Aha. And this feels a bit cheesy. <laughs> feel the cheese. Fear of a dairy. Alright, so I need to buy the quilt and I need to buy compass. <sighs> Nada. Yep, buy a compass. Well, that's creepy. Hello, th hello there. Wow, you at the top. You actually look old. That's oh, <laughs> Why, thank you. I'm not apologizing. Do I hit you or do I? Say something? I'm assuming you're the, the worm thing I saved earlier. So this is like a saving ground? I'm assuming. I save you all. You all come here and then you're watched over by this incredibly old man. Who is towering above you all. There's weird connotations there. I'm not quite sure what it's getting at. I'm assuming that is sinister by nature. Temple of the Black Egg. Oh, hello, sir. Hello there. How delightful to meet another traveller on those forgotten roads. You're a short one, but you've a strong look about you. Uh, I'm Quarrel. I've something of an obsession with uncharted places. Uh, this ancient kingdom holds many fascinating mysteries, and one of the most intriguing of them is standing right before us. A great stone egg lying in the corpse of an ancient kingdom. And this egg? Is it warm? It certainly gives off a unique air. Can it be opened? There are strange marks all over it. I do so love a mystery, and... Who knows that other marvels lie even deeper below us? Can I hit it? Is that a no? God damn it. Violence should always be the answer. And when it's not, it should just be heavier violence. You're a very conspicuous opening. Almost tantalizing. Okay. Ah! How are you? Oh, bury my mother, pale and slight. Bury my father with his eyes shut tight. Bury my sisters two by two. And then when you're done, let's bury me too. Wow. <laughs> Do you know that one? It's, it's one of my favourites. We can sing something else if you like. You start singing and I'll join in. I bet you have a be beautiful singing voice. <laughs> so what are you down here for? You came came to get wealthy. Just look around you. These these mines are still bursting with riches. There's, there's plenty, plenty for everyone. Just... Grab a pick and join in. <laughs> right. Well, I'm backing away slowly. Enjoy the rest of your day, you absolute lunatic. Well, let's meet the cannibals. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, here we are then. Hello. Oh, ho. Who is that creeping out of the darkness? My, you're looking grim, a strange, empty face and a wicked-looking weapon. Something important has drawn you down into Hollow Nest corpse, but I won't ask what. Perhaps the reason you found me is because you need my help. I have no idea who the fuck you are, snail shaman. Say no more, friend. I'm going to give you a gift. A nasty little spell of my own creation. It's just perfect for a little one like you. Oi! Might be small, but I give off big man energy. I said it. I'll run up to it. Thanks. It's exactly what I needed. A floating version of my face. Oh yay, for the miracle of the helping hand. Oh 
Okay, I may have been sarcastic too quickly. Oh, great, now I'm dead. Hey, I'm awake. Explain. Oh, oh, oh wait. You've woken at last. I apologize. Perhaps I should have warned you about the power of that spell. I was watching over you as you slept, but it seemed to have slipped away myself. <laughs> now we're awake, I was wondering when or, or whether you would do me a small favor. Not as repayment for my gift, of course, simply because we're now friends. You see, a horrid great beast has made its home in the heart of this temple. Such disrespect. I would be quite grateful if you were to venture deeper in and slay it for me. It's a hardy creature, but with your new power, you're more than a match for it. Good luck with this small favor, my friend. <laughs> uh, question if we both pass the fuck out. Why am I behind a cage and you're not? I feel like I have been screwed. Heavily. So let's just play this little game of pinball wizard, shall we? Without dying, if possible. I should really focus on- Oh! Okay, fair enough. Don't have to focus on healing, because it's dead. Oh, so it's done then. You've slain the beast. Poor thing, it must have been terrified of you. It used to be quite docile, but the rancid air in these caverns filled it with some ancient rage. Still, you did what had to be done. You've my gratitude, of course. We both know you wouldn't have made it through without that small... Well, without that spell of mine. Go, cool, can I go now? Oh, look, the gate between us is opened. Oh, 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 I'm sure I didn't put it there. I didn't put it there at all. I'm sure you're eager to move on. Farewell and have faith. Whatever you're seeking, it will find you. I would prefer I found it over it finding me. You are really shit at talking to people. Ah, there we go. Onwards to victory. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I hate these kinds of places. The hell? This doesn't look dangerous at all. That's actually rather lovely, though. It's very majestic looking. Welcome to Green Path. Ah, I could live here if it wasn't so dangerous. The fuck was that? Hello! Goodbye. I'm just, okay. Your death will be remembered. I don't trust that at all. Hey! I was right not to trust that. Who, who would have guessed it? A bench! Oh, sweet merciful Christ, my thighs are in bits. Oh. Oh. It genuinely is massaging my arse cheeks. Ah, uh, hello. I believe we haven't met before. Don't fucking run. God damn it, I can't even reach. Do it. You can do it. Yeah! Get crushed! Ah. Uh. I feel better about that now. Good for you. Ooh, map man. Ooh, bring me. Ooh, trying to be useless this time. Is this a contrast from the crossroads? Such a humid, lively place. The roads twist and turn in the most wonderful ways. I've done my best to chart the area ahead, though. I must admit, some of the area's inhabitants provide... Or, well, some of the area's inhabitants proved quite a nuisance. Purchase a map of the area. I'm sorry, are you going from area to area to sell a map, but you're staying in said area that no one has gone to to sell the map? Your business ideas are absolutely woeful. The fact you've ever put food on the table is mind-boggling. No wonder you never go home to see your wife, because you are a complete and utter disappointment. And she now has to run your business to try and clean up the mess you've made from your horrifically shit business ideas. I'll buy your goddamn map. <laughs> Say hello to your wife for me. Oh, bench! Oh, sweet, merciful benchness. Oh. This is the journey of the benches. It's my goal. I'm not here for any other reason but to discover the benches of the world. Where's the nicest place to sit and just stare? But I've not found it yet. The journey's not come to an end. We will find all these benches, one way or another. Benches will be mine. <laughs>